Good morning, everybody. Day 65, Appalachian Trail, 2021. The knee's still pretty bad, but I'm not staying in a hotel another night. Um, we'll see how it feels when I get up on the trail. The first mile-ish is a road walk, and then after that, there's a shelter in like a mile and a half. So if it's horrible, I'm just going to go to the shelter. But let's hope it just loosens up. I mean, it's long well, come down some. So, all right. So day 65, let's get out on trail. My shuttle's going to be here shortly. It's just before 7. They're supposed to be here at 7. So, all right, I'm going to get out there and get on, get on and back to trail, guys. So we'll see you up on trail. All right, everybody, I'm back on trail. Uh, I was waiting for my friend Dangeroso. Turns out he passed the uh, trailhead at night. So don't think I'm going to run into him. My knee's really still pretty bad. So there's a shelter and 2.2 miles that I think uh, it's probably where I'm going to stay tonight. Um, got one climb up that to that shelter, and it's pretty darn steep. So we're going to see how the knee feels, but it's pretty sore. Don't want to hurt it. So like I said, swelling's down quite a bit from yesterday, but it's still not right. So, no reason to push a bunch of miles today. So, I'm just going to get to that shelter and see how I feel. So, all right, right now we got some road walking to do, the other mile of the road from the last video I talked about. So, all right, let's get down the road. Rain's coming too, so maybe it's not a bad time to stay at the shelter. But, all right, guys, let's see what we can see. All right, guys, so I made it to the Harvey's Mill shelter, and look who I got ran into. What's up? Got Dangeroso out here. He's on YouTube trying to do the triple this year. Check I him am. out. Dangeroso. You just have to Google Dangeroso Triple Crown. It's got the it. easiest way. Or hey. go to my website, Dangeroso.com. There you go. Met him last year on the PCT, hung up with him in uh, Norcale. You might remember that. So and I'm going to hang here for a little while, see how the knee feels. Maybe do 10 more. Next two days are going to be crazy with me and Jelly being hanging out. Watch so, out. Never know. So, all right, good, bro. Good seeing him again. All right, man. So, all right, we decide what we're going to do. It's 10 miles to the next shelter. I don't know. Sit here for a minute and decide. So, all right, guys. We'll keep you updated. Well, everybody, I decided to push on uh, another 10 plus miles at least. Probably wasn't the best choice. My knee's killing me. But I want to get into Piersburg or through Piersburg as fast as possible. And it's only 43 miles. I got to climb. So I don't know. I'm going slow, but it hurts and it's definitely not good. So see how far I get? There's literally nothing to take even pictures or look at right now. It's just this. So, all right, I'm still hiking on. We'll see we'll see how far we get and how the knee feels. Got to climb. 600 miles, guys. 1,593 more to go. Hopefully this knee doesn't continue. Because that'd be a hard 1,600 miles. But 600 miles down, and I think I got about three and a half left to the shelter. So hopefully my knee can just put up with that much more. And then I can get into Petersburg. Today's Tuesday, I think. Get in there Thursday. Resupply and get out. Charge my stuff. Probably won't spend the night. Dangerous, so it's going to be there uh, Wednesday, Thursday. But uh, my knee is in any shape. I'm not going to stop other than to resupply. So, all right, guys. Sorry, there's nothing to show you. Basically, it's this just trees, no views whatsoever today. But I'm going to keep getting on. All right, 600 miles. Hey, hey, hey. So, two and a half miles to go. Sky's turned dark. 
and hear that? Thunder. So, trying to make it to the shelter before uh, lightning comes and before the uh, sky led loose. So, I got a little 500 foot climb coming up. And then, uh, be another like mile and a half to the shelter. So, all right, guys, trying to beat the rain. All right, guys, so got caught in the rain. It was pouring. Uh, I'm soaked. Uh, lots of lightning. Branches were coming down all around my head. Windy. Got to the shelter. Bunch of people there hiding from the rain. Shelter was soaking wet inside. So it doesn't make any sense to get everything wet tonight. Really wasn't any camp spots either. So there's a hostel down here. Lick Skillet Hostel, another mile, my knee racked, but I'm going to push the other mile and a point two, whatever it is, get down here, get dry. Uh, they don't have anything other than a couch, but since I'm soaking wet, that's better than trying to dry off where I'm not going to dry off tonight outside. Wouldn't happen. So, oops, sorry. My hand froze up there. I mean, literally, like, froze. So, I'll get down there. Get dry. All right, guys, I'm rambling. Let's get hiking. All right, guys, so I'm in an Amish Mennonite deli grocery store. Ordered a Reuben with red pepper sweet relish. And we're going to wander around. See what else these folk have for us. Look. I don't know. What do I need? They really don't need much. But sounds good to look around, right? Yeah. No wonder. Candy. All kinds of prepackaged stuff. Everything's pretty heavy probably, but hey. Alright. I'm gonna wander. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me grocery shop. So alright, I'll show you the food. See what it looks like. All right, everybody, so I made it to Lick Skillet Hostel. That's kind of the uh, whole layout of the land in the picture there. Pool table, bunks. I got a couch, big couch. So yeah, little kitchen over there. You can make something if you want to. He ran us into the Amish market there I was in. Had me a Reuben, some cheese curds. So, good call. Shelter, shelter was all wet. Good call to come here. So. Depending on how the knee is tomorrow, maybe we'll slack pack, see what we think. A little kitchen, a little refrigerator. Um, there, it's That's pretty much it. That's, That's so hostel in a nutshell. That laundry and showers out back. So, not a bad place, but yep, that's where I am tonight. Like Skillet Hostel, day 65. All right guys, day 65 in the books. Uh, at the hostel about 8 30 9 o'clock time to go to bed so not a lot to see today those thunderstorms came through and you know got me all wet but i'm dry now i'm gonna get out in the morning hiking again so we will see you in the morning you guys have a great evening morning afternoon wherever you are thanks for watching and subscribing to jelly bean hikes and we'll see you tomorrow on trail